from reality TV to podcast, let's rehash and rewind everything you need to know from Sheena lying about production or production pulling a quick one on her. Vanderpump Rules is on pause until further notice. After the backlash from fans, Sheena is ready to spill all the tea on why she did it, plus reactions from the Vanderpump Vault. Sheena is ready to start pointing fingers after the reunion and has gone on her own podcast discussing why she felt like Ariana and Tom had to do this fake apology and Ariana had to film with Tom, plus her embarrassing plea to be on the valley with her real friends. I watched it all and compiled my thoughts. So sit back, relax, sip on something nice. We are breaking down the latest gossip from reality TV stars to YouTube and internet influencers. Let's hash it all out together. Let's start with our girly pop, Sheena Shay. She made some bold claims about production two separate times on her podcast about why she felt like Ariana should film with Tom. And it is wild because production's response, the stories are not matching up. So Sheena went on her podcast and she says production told them that if Tom and Ariana did not film together, which they did multiple times this season, that the show would end and everyone would have to go live their separate lives. And she's not willing to do that because her and Lala bought two houses. They have two houses payments they have to make. So, you know, our girls need those checks from Vanderpump. Finally, finale week mm -hmm. on Vanderpump Rules. I'm so happy that this is finally airing. We can have the reunion air and then just, you know, see what's next, which mm -hmm. I also want to get into. But who are you better friends with? Really? For real? Period. Sandoval or Ariana? Who's more, who's who's a better, closer person to you in your life? Right now, I don't speak to either of them that much. You don't speak to either of them? No. And I, I would imagine that this is all going to come out at, at the reunion. But going to be the thing that is going to be frustrating for you guys now is mm -hmm. because that thing happened at the end of the finale where everything went down and Tom went over to you guys and was like, she talks shit about you. She doesn't like yeah. you. This isn't real. Now what's going to start yeah. to be questioned is, okay, what actually mm -hmm. of this show mm -hmm. is real? Mm -hmm. Which of it is leaned into, which of yeah. it is constructed. And that might just be a frustrating thing going forward mm -hmm. that you guys might have to field is like how much of it was wasted energy on the fans part. Yeah. If it wasn't actually real. Mm -hmm. And that's where I feel like it's opening up a new place for season 12 to go where yeah. I think the fourth wall has to be down because yeah. we do have to address mm -hmm. all of those things. And if the show could move in a direction like the Kardashians and D'Amelio's where you're talking about the show on the show like we just did for the finale this week, I feel like there's so much room for the show to go. Yes. And there is room for Tom and Ariana to stay on the same show if we're acknowledging I'm not filming with him. Yeah. I'm not filming with her. Like... They can both be on it, but the way this last season worked, it was, this is an ensemble show about a group of friends. Mm -hmm. So if y'all aren't filming together, then there is no show. We'll wrap it up. The season will end early yeah. and move on with your lives. Vanderpump Rules is done. None of us were willing to do that. No. Then she goes on her show again on May 31st saying that, you know, X, Y, and Z needs to happen or we will have a short season and the show will be canceled. So Sheena is trying to push the blame onto production. She says that this is why her and Lala were acting like it was the end of the world if Tom didn't have the conversation in the final episode with Ariana. So people will probably say it is, you know, trying to backpedal or gain 1% of the audience back. I think I've, I've lost who I've lost and, you know, maybe there will be a season 12 and people will understand more of me. But I feel like with Ariana walking away, after we filmed the reunion and all of that, I do feel a little differently because I, and this is where I get in trouble in this friend group is because I live in the gray and I always see both sides. Completely understand Lala being like, you know what, you still live in the house with him. You still are on a show with him. Then you should film the season finale with him. I understand that. Then I also understand Ariana being like, but this isn't real and we're supposed to film our real lives. So it's like, there are two things that can be true at the same time. Yeah. And seeing her stand her ground I'm like, okay, respect. You didn't cave and you held on to your boundary. That wasn't what was the frustrating thing. And in that moment when Lala like lost her shit, you know, and I was like, I agree with you. It was a whole season of feeling like we all kind of had to walk on eggshells. Like I know Alex Baskin has said that mid season, like the show was not in a good place. It mm -hmm. was 
you know, X, Y, and Z needs to happen or we're going to have a short season and the show's going to be canceled and that's it. You know, go go live your lives. Yeah. I think Lala and I felt a lot of pressure after that day when it was like, well, we don't want the show to get canceled, you know, and not just for ourselves and our families, but like there's a crew of, I don't know, 80, 100 people who work on this show. And I said this at the reunion, which you didn't see, but I was like, I feel like we're doing our jobs also for all of these people. Like mm -hmm. we want to keep this going. Yeah. And so when someone does just like walk away, like they don't care if the show ends, it's not just about us. Yeah. There's so many more people that do rely on this. Mm -hmm. Well, 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 this got the attention of Alex Baskin, a show producer on Vanderpump Rules. And he said this about mid season. We did get the entire cast together and we thought we had hit a point in the season where I actually think they were being impacted by what's happening on social media. We basically were telling them to drown out the noise and make the show we have made over the past 10 years. And that didn't mean we asked them to manufacture anything, which it does. And I'm going to have to say, I kind of agree with Sheena at this point. They need to break down that fourth wall, just like they do on like the Kardashians and on the D'Amelios, because it's just gotten so big, like it, they need to break down that fourth wall and actually talk about it. But he goes on to say, it didn't mean that we gave them any specific talking points. It just means that we made a show that worked because everybody was rowing in the same direction and reacting to each other. And we've gotten away from that. So we thought we had to intervene in that sense. So that was a lot. And it's so crazy how much goes into making a show like this and all the different perspectives. Do you guys think Sheena is just digging up anything and trying to get herself out of the mess she caused? It is wild that Lala and her say the show needs to be so authentic and the show needs to be their real lives. But in one of the podcasts, Sheena straight up says that her real friends are on the valley. You know? and nor should you. And I do think that like, you're right. It now, it's sort of a game changer mm -hmm. because it's like, it all goes down. Like you have these people saying like, actually i don't like you actually we're not close actually we were not this and i'm like whoa it's almost like now it's gonna restart which is why i think it's good and if you want to speak about the pause about how long you think that would be i would think i'd be really curious about that i personally feel like i don't have any inside information yeah. we're the last people to find out yeah i would imagine <laughs> i feel like we're things are with the valley right now they needed to pick up cameras two weeks ago yeah <laughs> i think yeah. the valley whoa. needs to film a full season Maybe we cross oh, over sure. on it because these are I've our friends the in real life. crossovers too. Like, I think it's so for funny. Sure. I mean, that's yeah. real. Maybe we cross oh, over sure. on it because these are I've our friends the in real life. I've loved the crossovers too. Like, I think it's so well, funny. For sure. I mean, that's yeah. real. These are I've our loved friends the crossovers too. Like, I think it's so well, funny. For sure. I mean, that's yeah. real. But I could see Vanderpump picking up maybe in the fall after mm. the Valley fully wraps up. I think yeah. last year you wrapped in like October. How are you going to be real if the show is about a group of friends, but all of you guys are not friends. None of you guys are friends. The only reason why you guys came together last summer, it feels like, is to film together. <sighs> it just doesn't make sense. Same with Lala. They obviously are not friends anymore. But you guys, more Vanderpump Rules is coming soon. I'm sorry I didn't make a video last week. Your girl was on vacation and I was busy and I tried to make a video, but I didn't. And then I was stressing myself out because I didn't make a video. And then my Ariana video blew up. Well, my Sheena Lala Ariana video blew up and I had no idea you guys were going to love my Vanderpump Rules content. So here I am again. We are going to be dissecting Lala's apology next and I can't wait. I just am so excited. So please let me know if you think Sheena is making this up to cover her ass or if producer Alan Baskin is, a, is fibbing. I want to know everything you think. We are almost halfway past our goal of 1,000 subscribers. I am working on giving away shirts soon. So they are so cute. I bought this design and I just need to find like the shirts to put it on. I love making shirts. I started making shirts last year when I quit my job to become a stay-at-home mom. Actually, it was like two years ago. So I am so excited. I will be making these shirts handmade by your girl. I can't wait to give them away to you guys. And please, if you love reality TV, YouTube, and internet gossip, please hit the subscribe button so I'm not talking to myself. <laughs>